Hey, this is Steve with Green Nation. Uh, I'm gonna make a quick little video today on a job site of us building a uh, custom patio cover in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. It's gonna be 106 today, so my guys got started about six o'clock this morning to beat the heat. Uh, I'm just gonna kinda go through some things that a lot of clients have questions of as to why we do things, or it's, sometimes they don't really understand, so it's easier for me just to make videos on job sites so customers can better understand how we do things. So I pulled up at perfect timing as my guys were headed off to lunch. Uh, they've been working since six o'clock this morning. <laughs> They're beat. It's starting to get hot here in Texas. Uh, this works out good because I can make a video with some peace and quiet and not a bunch of saws and drills and banging and construction noises going on. So this patio cover, I believe, was 20 by 15 or somewhere in that area. I can't remember exactly the dimensions. We build all different kinds of sizes. Uh, we got eight by eight cedar post. It's only going to have two posts. There's not going to be one in the center. So we have these laminate beams that run from post to post and back towards the house, supporting all the rafters, all the weight. Uh, they're doubled. There's two beams put together on the full box. This is the main structure of the patio cover. Now, underneath these, underneath these posts, we got 12 inches of concrete. We dug a 12 inch deep hole, 12 by 12 by 12 cubed. We filled it with three inch steel and it's filled with concrete. So it's got a very strong and proper foundation supporting all the weight of this patio cover, which these patio covers, by the time you do all this framing, these LVLs and these posts and the shingles and decking, uh, the tongue and groove that's gonna go underneath the ceiling, it gets very heavy. And you can't build these things on four inches of concrete. We get a lot of customers out wanting us to build a patio cover on four inch slab that they had poured by some previous concrete contractor. And as, as a contractors that pull permits, the city just will not allow us to do that. And let me tell you, if you build one of these patio covers on four inches of concrete, it will crack, it will bust, it will settle. You just wasted a lot of money on building, you know, this is an investment. You don't want it to turn into something where you gotta pay as much or more to tear it down as what you paid to build it. So these things have 12 inch footers underneath these posts supporting this thing. The, the city wants to know what is supporting the weight of this structure and they come and they inspect our holes in our metal before we even pour the concrete so everything's good to go We're, we got everything covered um all these rafters the rafters are all these pieces of wood they're all two by eight per code you know you, we used to build these with two by sixes but now all these cities are going to two by eights on this kind of a span uh again we got all the lvls going around the soffit and the fascia this is the soffit the bottom part is the soffit the fascia is this outside edge so all the soft and fascia on our patio cover is going to be built to match the house. Uh, we'll put a piece of fascia out here, soften under here. The underneath part of the ceiling is going to be a, a tongue and groove, which is going to be real nice. It'll all be stained, uh, whatever color they, they want. And then the cedar posts are typically stained the same color. You know, some customers want different colors, but whatever, whatever they want is what we do. Um, we'll put a, 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 a roof that matches the house, obviously. Uh, it'll be half 7 16 inch OSB decking and uh, laminate shingles to match the house. It'll look just like it was built when the builder built this house. Um, another thing that we do is this, uh, this section right here above the brick. This is the old soffit and fascia. This is all going to get demoed. We remove all this and then we build a new pony wall on top of the brick going up into our patio cover. Uh, it's a really a good area to hang a TV or put some speakers or put a screen or whatever you want to do up there. You can put a big Coors Light neon sign if you want, whatever. But that all gets demoed and we rebuild this to, to really make this thing look like it was built with the house. So, yep, that's basically where it's at. And I'll make another video as this project moves along so you guys can kind of see how this thing's going to come together. Uh, we build all of them pretty much the same um, structurally. But all of our patio covers are always different colors, different ceilings. Sometimes we, we, we do the rafters exposed. These rafters will actually, our, our ceiling will go underneath the rafters with the tongue and groove. Sometimes we'll build it and we'll put our tongue and groove on top of the rafters and leave exposed rafters more of a woodsy, um, outdoorsy look if you want. But you know, whatever. If we put it on the bottom or we put it on the top, it doesn't matter to us. Uh, but yeah. There you go. If you guys have any questions or comments, just you know, make a comment. I'll answer everybody the best I can. Uh, contact us at www.
greennationgc.com, 817-631-9788 is my office. Uh, get out, we'll get you a free estimate and whatever project you have, a bathroom, a patio cover, uh, concrete, if you want to build a pergola out in the backyard, we can do that. Um, we do metal, carports and patio covers, uh, roofing, basically anything that you, you need, we can handle it. So anyway, there you go. And if you guys would like this, uh, that would, I'd really appreciate that. And we'll talk to you soon.